Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and last year I did a video on the Clipper Backup Utility. It's an awesome set of macros to back up your Clipper configuration to GitHub. And there's been a recent update, and with the new install of Clipper I've done on one of my machines, I want to get things started right and get it backing up. So let's go ahead and get started. So this Backup Utility has gone through some major updates here recently. We're just going to go through the steps to get this set up so that way we can back up my Sidewinder X1, which I recently completed a Clipper install on. So I'm just going to follow along with the steps and we'll start with the installation. And the first thing I'm going to do is prepare a GitHub repository. But following right along with the instructions, I'm just going to go up here after I've logged in to GitHub. I'm going to click the plus sign and create a new repository. Now, in my case, I'm backing up my Sidewinder X1. And I'm also going to include as an SKR2 in it, and it's running Clipper. I want to have all that information there. That way, down the road, if I change the board or whatever, I have a backup of what was there. So this is a, again, Sidewinder X1 with a Big Tree Tech SKR2. TMC 2209s with Clipper. And this is connected via one of my servers. And I'm just going to put in some additional information here in the description. That way, again, I can go back and figure out what the did. And I'm just going to create this repository. So this has created the repository in GitHub. Now let's proceed to the next steps. I need to create a GitHub token. So I'm gonna go over here to the right, click on my profile, click on settings, scroll down and developer settings. And I want a personal, personal access token. So I'm gonna to click generate token, call this Sidewinder, X1. I'm going to set the expiration date as a year from now, or better yet, two years from now. I'm going to do select repositories. And I want to just do the Sidewinder X1 SKR2 Clipper that I just created. And I'm going to click generate token. And I'm going to change this down to 2025. It so can't be more than a year. And click generate token. Now you can see my token on screen. I'm going to create a new token. This isn't actually the token I would use, but I'm going to just copy this and then I'll paste this over in my config file when I need it. So now that I've copied my token, I need to SSH onto the I controlling this printer. In my case, it's a desktop. So let's go ahead and move over to my terminal and one of those commands. Now, as you can see, I've SSH'd onto my desktop running the Clipper install and update helper. You can see I have several printers installed. And the printer that I'm interested in is actually on printer underscore one underscore data. So let's CD into that folder. And let's hit LS. And as you can see, where we can see all our files in there, there's our config folder, our G codes folder, etc. I'll go back over to the instructions, copy our GitHub command here, and then let's paste that into our terminal and hit enter. I'm just going to run LS again. Before we proceed, we're going to update our environmental variables file. And we do that again through the terminal. And let's go into the Clipper backup folder. I'm just gonna type ls minus a. And you can see there is both an environmental example and just plain .env file. 
Now, in my case, I just want to edit the .env file. So I'm going to type in nano.env. And what we need to do is update the settings here at the top of the file. So I'm going to go here to my GitHub token, and I will update that last. And I'm going to type in my GitHub username. I'm going to type in the repository I used, which in my case was Sidewinder x1-skr2-clipper. I'm going to leave it as main. And on my commit username, let me use my email address. Either yet, let me use my actual GitHub username and my email. Now I'm also going to move down here. And in my case, I need to change the folder to printer underscore one underscore data. So that's correct. And that actually looks really good. And then for my last step, I'm going to paste in my GitHub token, which I copied earlier. And I'll do that off camera and then save this file. To save the file in Nano, I'm going to hit Control X and then Y. And I'll proceed. So I now have my environmental variable set up. And we'll proceed to the next step. Now, in the next step, for the implementation, I'm going to do this via Moonraker. So let's follow those steps. I'm simply going to co copy this block code here. And then I want to go over and paste this into the Moonraker config. There's the Moonraker config. I'll move all the way to the bottom and paste it in. Now I'm going to make one quick change here. Remember my install file was printer underscore one underscore data. Put a slash there. So I want to save and restart. And let's see if this does what I want. As you can see, the clipper backup is here, so that looks correct. Let's go to our dashboard. Everything appears to be running. Now, the only issue I'm seeing is I don't see a button, so we're going to need to make another change here. So the button appears, so we can just click a button and back up. Now, we have three different implementations. We can run this from the shell. We can run this via cron job. And then we can also run this via Clipper macro. I'm going to grab Clipper macro code, and let's paste that over into my printer.config. So in my printer.config, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Right in this area, I'm going to paste that code in. And I need to make a couple quick changes here for username, and then also my install folder. And so that all looks good. Let's hit save and restart. This will take a moment. So we've restarted. And there's update git. So let's click that and just see if this actually backs up. And when we tried to run the update, we could see it's permission denied. So that means there's an issue with our access token. So let's go back over to our access tokens on GitHub. And I'm going to click on the Sidewinder X1 access token. Click Edit, and I'm going to update again the repository to the Sidewinder X1. I'm going to click Repository Permissions. I'm going to scroll down the contents, change it to Read Write. And then on Metadata, I'm going to change that to Read Only. And then let me hit Update, see what that looks like. So now we have access to the proper, hopefully we have access to the proper repository, read, write. So let's go back over to Clipper and let's hit our update, get button again. 
Now it looks like we've actually written our repository. I'm going to go back into GitHub, click on my repositories, and there are my configuration files properly backed up. So that's pretty awesome. So as you can see, these are the steps that are needed to update the backup script. And that does a manual backup. Let's go ahead and set up a cron job so this is done automatically. So back at my terminal, I'm SSH'd into my printer. I'm going to look at the instructions here. And let's just follow the instructions for the cron job. So I'm going to type cron, cron tab space dash E. Let's put that into our terminal. Let's select nano. I'm going to scroll down in this file to the very bottom. Let's copy this command. So it's copied back to the terminal and paste. Now that's in the file, and they should run the script whenever mainsail OS reboots. So I'm going to type Control X, Y, and then Enter. So that has saved the cron job. And the cron job has been installed. So there we go. And basically, I'm now good to go to back up this configuration on this printer so I can make any changes I, I want to proceed with. And this is an awesome utility. Make sure you star the repository. I think there may be a link here to get the author a coffee. If there is, go ahead and take advantage of that. He's done some awesome work. Try this script. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.